How long have you been running the Open Studio? 23 years. <laughs> We've done 23 of them. One yeah, a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the first, mm. we arrived in, well, I arrived in September 93. You arrived in December 93. Mm -hmm. The first exhibition was... Um, actually, it was 94 actually, was, was it September or was certainly late August? We, yeah, we, we did it a little bit date. later to begin with, and I think. It was the first summer. Mm. We, we needed the money. You know, we needed to tell people we were here. We needed the money? Well, Do the, you think we made money on that one? <laughs> well, you've got like to start earning and so the coffee. idea was that, you know, that was one way of, well, Earning. Okay, maybe we didn't earn really anything the first year, but the point was you've got to start somewhere. So the best time is to start is now, really. Because our thinking behind yeah. running it was really because of Charlie's heavy sculpture and also the fact we're in the middle of a very rural area. Um, we thought we could just bring people here rather than going mm. to, you know, rather than hiring a van every time and taking the sculpture. Uh, every time, mm. I mean, d we do a lot of that, but um, it's nice just to have things on display here, you know. Mm. And yeah, so then we we built that up over the years, haven't we? And then mm. it, ten years into it, we were we were it was really feeling like too big a job to be honest, because it would take a month to get ready for it. And I suppose we weren't. It wasn't sort of reflected in, 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 in selling it much as well. So the effort. Yeah, we put a whole month of time into getting ready for the open studio. And then you might make a couple hundred quid or something. Yeah, you know, and so then we were like, and so then ten years in, we just One kept day. racking our brains, thinking, how can we make it a smaller event, but it won't be as much work. And we chewed on that thought. And mm. talk to various people about it for um, the sort of two mm. months that followed, and then we thought there we can't we can't make it smaller. We've just got to do it. <laughs> and so the minute we said, "Come on, we're carrying on, we're doing it," is when it started working actually. And yeah. so, you I, know, I, th I suppose now and I it think started it, working a little bit more financially. But so it actually takes that sort of time to to gain a sort of base of support you know 10 years mm. that's what I think because when another mm. example of that is I made these lead reliefs they, they just go on the wall you know and I made I made 15 or so of them. I made a lot of them didn't I mm -hmm. and they were on show for years you know um, I mean I made them in I made them around the years 2000-2003 well, and, and then three years ago or so, I sh I, I, that I, over two or three years, I shifted the lot. <laughs> Suddenly, people wanted them. You know, they'd seen them mm. for years, hanging every year. You know, I'd, I'd hang the wretched things up again. Cause they were <laughs> bloody nuisance because they were very heavy to, to, to hang and everything. Well, they're all gone now. <laughs> so people ask me, have we got any more? <laughs> so, so what I mean is it seems to... It you it takes that long for people to get used yeah. to used I mean, to things. The know. thing is, as artists, we're we're like thinking, oh no, we're not going to show old work again. Mm. It, you you're kind of totally engaged with what yeah. work you're doing now, and you think that something you did last year is old. You know, as the artist, you think it's old, but in fact, no one's ever seen that work. You know. <laughs> So the audience coming to see oh, the work, and, and often they, need, they to need to see it yeah. again and again. Yeah, and and just get it used to times, yeah. Yeah, just sort of get used to get to know it really. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and they engage with it in a totally different way than we do, but mm. but they need to engage with it, sort of mm. thing. Mm. Um, How many people do you get every year? Roughly? Well, now it's about seven hundred. Yeah, last year it was that was the highest, but about seven hundred, and the year before that about six hundred, and all the years before that about five hundred for a, a while. But the the very first year we did it, how many did we get then? I don't know. About a no. hundred. No, maybe. no, no. We got quite a lot more than that, you know. I do believe. I think it was about three hundred. 
Did we? Half the yeah, half right. the locals turned up, you see. Yeah. And because they, well, they wanted a good nosy, didn't they? I don't blame them. But, uh, but actually, there's several of them who are still coming, so they work yeah. for a few of them. Mm. Uh, it still has a nice, calm sort of yeah. atmosphere, doesn't Except it? Except we've got to make a lot more cakes. Yeah. <laughs> the cakes kept running out this last year. <laughs> and yet people bring them for us. And But I mean, you know, somebody brings a cake, and ah, it's gone. You know. <laughs> so and then people come, up, we're inside the front door greeting people, and then someone comes, sort of runs up from the kitchen, no, there's no more cake. <laughs> You know, so we have to sort of kind of magic the cake from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Really, it's just thinking of um, continuous line drawing mm -hmm. in um, regarding continuous line stitching. You know, if I if I if I draw, keep the pencil on the paper and just draw. It's it's a bit similar to c continually stitching with with the machine. So I can I maybe do secondary drawings of some of the original drawings thinking of thinking of stitch thinking of the flow of the line um, so these ones I'm thinking about the quilting stitching on those why do you choose the medium that you do choose and why why quilts and stitches and things mm. I, uh, mainly because I love fabric I've I've worked with fabric for forty years, <laughs> and I I love working with fabric and cloth um, and stitch, and I think I've just got so used to it. But I all I do also love paper and pencil. It's going right back to basics for me, and I love that sort of um, you know just the basic thing of a, a pencil and, and a piece of paper. <laughs> She's observed, sort of using observation more. Um, you know, like she actually went outside and and drew from from you know the actual uh, the actual sort of countryside and things. And I am not, I don't do that. In fact, I I I, I used to a bit, but I didn't find it worked. You know, and in fact, what I find is it's forget. It's best to. 
it's almost best not to think of anything because actually I don't really want it that to say anything in terms of I don't want it to say that's a hedge or that's a field or or that's um, a landscape even I'm because I'm not sure enough I, w I don't want it to be a landscape I just want it to be what it is um, I'm not sure whether I'm what I draw is about landscape at all um, you know it's a I'm not quite sure what it's about, really, but um, I had I had some thoughts that maybe it was about energy and that sort of energy and movement and uh, and 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 life forces you can't, you're not aware you can't actually physically see like growth the growth of things you know and, and the hidden energies, but it all seems to be talk you know. I mean, really, in the end, I just draw because I want to draw, and um, it's funny. You you start, you do, you finish one of these drawings, and then you suddenly got a, a blank wall again. You know, you suddenly. It, I think there's some sense that one drawing should lead on to another, but it doesn't really. We're not just the nat, you know. We are something else than the natural world. The natural world is part, but it's not part. I suppose it's. Are they really just portraits of my of my life in this sort of way? But what you know, they're they're saying they're they're not saying anything um, directly about that that nobody would ever understand, including me. But it's it's still a sort of portrait of of my 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 mental. Um, activity. <laughs> so you're saying they're kind of more of a portrait of the mind as opposed to kind of yeah. a portrait of reality. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not a bad, what, you know, not a bad stab at it, let's put it like that, because your guess is probably as good as mine. Yeah. <laughs>